Planning and preparing for your disclosure conversation can help you feel a sense of empowerment in your job search process. If you've decided to disclose your disability, you might be wondering, how will I say it? And to whom will I say it? In this video, we'll guide you through the process of preparing your disability disclosure conversation to help you answer those questions. You can use our disclosure checklist and script templates for help. Step 1. Self-reflection. To get started, answer the following questions about your potential job performance. What strengths and abilities do you have that relate to the position you're applying for? For example, I'll say, I am detail-oriented and I am good at communication. What challenges or limitations do you have that are either related to the job you're applying for or the job you are already doing? For example, I'll answer, I have limited motor skills so I can't type very quickly. What are the job duties that could be difficult to perform? For example, I'll write, I could have trouble taking notes, writing reports, or taking meeting minutes. Are there strategies, tools, or accommodations you've used in the past that have allowed you to perform certain duties more successfully? For example, I'll say, speech recognition software like Dragon helps me. Step two, develop a disclosure script. Use your answers to the earlier questions to plan what you're going to say when you disclose. This plan is like a script. You can practice ahead of time so that you know what to say when you talk to your employer. Remember to highlight your abilities and clearly state your limitations and needs. Only talk about your limitations related to the job. You don't have to name your disability. However, if you feel comfortable talking about it more directly, you can include it. Here's a template for your script. I have slash am your strengths, skills, abilities, qualifications relevant to the job and can perform the essential functions of this job, but sometimes, mention your limitations, may impact my ability to describe the duties you may have difficulty performing. I work best when describe the specific accommodations you need to support the duties you have difficulty performing. This template is just the starting point. You can change it to fit your needs. Here's my script. I am an extremely detail-oriented worker and a skilled communicator who can perform the essential functions of this job, but sometimes my limited motor skills impact my ability to type quickly. This may affect how efficient I am when taking notes, writing reports, and documenting meeting minutes. I work best when I am able to use speech recognition software, such as Dragon. This worked really well for me and my employer in my last job. Now that you have your script, practice it. You can rehearse on your own or practice saying it to someone else. Step three, approach your employer. Once you're comfortable, approach a trusted source, such as your manager or someone from the human resources department. They will respect the privacy of your information and be able to direct you to the right sources if you're seeking accommodation. So that's it. I hope this helps you feel more prepared to disclose your disability to an employer. If you need help with this process, reach out to your campus's disability office.